Hi everyone, my name is Hazard. I'm from the Insane Gamers. Look, my login bonus is still 200%. Uh, lost a bit of cash. Have to admit that. Because I spent it on buying some vehicles. And I tested th this car. And I was testing a few of the others that I bought out. Including this, which I haven't driven yet. All that, I haven't driven that yet. But all the others, I have. So let's go back into the Clio because I know I need it. Apparently, let's just go into the Clio. Still can't do an open lobby. That's annoying. Yes, okay, thanks for telling me one maker races are available. I couldn't tell. Anyway, let's do the five minute races. Now I have to say, the, uh, in the last video I talked about the internet, uh, how customers in how you Americans are getting shafted with your internet. Uh, speaking of which, Virgin sent me an upgrade offer and I take it, so it's quite nice. Did it to a uh, 152 meg down. About uh, 15 meg up, which is nice. Why was I in outside view? We want to be in cockpit. So if I remember what you have to do with these races, oh, well, I assume what you're going to have to do with, with these races uh, is you drive around for, I can see, you drive around for five minutes or so. And then, first one across the line wins. What? That just doesn't seem appealing to me. Anyway, at the time I'm recording this, uh, the 9th. Ooh, I've earned a truck. I don't know what that's for. I need to have a look at my truck these afterwards. <laughs> oh, by the way, link in the description if you want to uh, see my True Trophies account, which also links to my uh, True Achievements account for my uh, for Xbox Live. But that's not really important. Just if you guys want to see what achievements I've unlocked and stuff, you can. But it's it's E three. On the day I'm recording the Steam Night. Well, I say E3, I should say the Microsoft press conference, which is happening at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Which, you know, fine. Completely fine with that happening. Uh, so that means it will happen at either 8 or half. I've put the lights on. Uh, 8. Six or half six tonight. So there'll be a live stream. Although by the time you see this, the live stream will be over. Um, we'll be live streaming on free services. Well, I say we're doing that. All depends on if Chris actually wants to live stream. He has. He, we live stream. We've live streamed for the past two years. But I have uh, talked to Chris in two days' time. So that actually does depend on if we. Talk to each other. Uh, by the time the press conference happens. He is selling his Xbox. He's going pretty much PC gaming. Which, you know, for this channel could mean let's plays of well, he's going PC gaming when GTA 5 comes out for PC. That's good, but I, don't, I just don't see the point. Anyway. So, hopefully we'll be live streaming tonight. If it is, you can... Well. I'm going to say there'll be an annotation on the screen. The prob if, if we don't live stream, there won't be an annotation, obviously. But yeah. That's what we'll be doing tonight. That'll be fun. 
but we'll be live streaming on free services if we are, we'll be live streaming on Twitch, Justin.tv and YouTube. And you probably won't be taking comments. We could. Might not. We probably won't. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what uh, what games they're gonna they're gonna cover there. Probably Halo 5, which would be exciting. Uh, maybe they will announce a new Xbox One bundle with a bigger hard drive and of course no connect. They've already announced one with, without connect, but obviously bigger bigger hard drive would be important. I've done six laps really, you know. Pick a hard drive. Uh, hopefully they'll talk more about Forza Horizon 2 and uh, Sunset Overdrive. And hopefully that will mean I will actually get an Xbox One by the end of this year because cousin was around yesterday and uh, she was playing on the Kinect on the 360. And she was like, I like this. And then my parents were essentially like, if we get an Xbox One this year with Kinect for you, will you give the 360 one to them? I was like, sure, if it means I get an Xbox One. And then I could always, I don't really use the Kinect, so I could always just, I could always just buy a 360. Used at a store. Hey, I finished eight laps. I could always just buy a 360 used in the store if I want to play any of the 360 games. Any of my login ones, hooray. I can see how this video may be longer than what normally comes out. You know, I didn't actually expect Let's Play to be this difficult to make. Well, I wouldn't really say it's difficult to make it to me playing a game. But, talking wise, Jesus, I could either do the nerd cube style, which is kind of a vlog style of doing the game, but recording for three hours at a time, which sometimes me and Chris do, that's what the uh, GTA Let's Plays are, but with these I just like to talk for 15 minutes straight, which does unfortunately need a few pauses, and that's annoying. Oh, speaking of that, uh, speaking of this, I've received two codes for a game. It's a PC game, indie game. Oh, I forgot what it's called. <coughs> it's currently in a closed beta. It was closed beta last time I checked because on the TIGN channel, we got the code for it back in January, and then I, I do another channel which, uh, it's Quantum Rush the game. I run another channel which I haven't uploaded a video in like two years. It was essentially just a Forza based channel where it, you may have heard of it, Forza Cinder Driver. It doesn't have many uh, subscribers but it had a lot of views. It was just me driving a bunch of cars every day in Forza. Doing like a stick style power lap on, on uh, Forza 4. For me, and it eventually got boring because I was like, Yeah, I want to do with games. That's why TIGN really started. I was like, This is fun, but I want to uh, play with games. And then TIGN Let's Play started. Which was definitely fun. Anyway, yeah, going to talk to Wolf. In this Celica. I think that's a Celica. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. Just, just, I can't even spin it out. He's been Aston Martin. Aston Martin? Alfa Romeo. Jesus Christ. Are these cars like completely solid or something. There you go, that's how you deal with that. But yeah, Let's Plays are actually kind of hard to make, because you have to talk for 15 minutes, and if that doesn't come natural, it's difficult. 
And I think it is hard for anyone really to talk for 15 minutes straight. I'm struggling with this now, and I'm only on the second race. It also doesn't help that I haven't had anything to drink at all today. And it is currently just after 12. So I'm really thirsty. I'm surprised my voice hasn't gone all crazy. I, I don't. This is kind of boring, I think, about it, when you just you just be driving many laps around the track. These, I don't want any of these races in the next Grand Turismo again. Ah, I should probably mention E3. I've already mentioned the Microsoft press conference. We'll probably do. We may do the Nintendo press conference because that is also happening at 9 a.m. the next day. So we could do that. Very unlikely. But the Sony one, we will. I I know I won't be doing. Chris might do it by himself, but I, I doubt it. I've never even watched the Sony one. But it, as far as I remember, like I've heard, like they're going for like four hours. Well, not four hours, probably like two hours. But the the sad thing is, it is happening at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which actually equals about 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm not like watching all that. I'm not staying up that late just to watch a press conference. Especially because I've got about 7 a.m. this morning. I'm not literally going through a 24 hour work cycle without sleep. If you know what I mean like, I don't know how long the press conference is. You know, I, I, I need sleep. And also, lots of people go, oh, well, where do you do a let's play? I'm, I'm different between two subjects here, but people go, oh, where do you do a let's play channel? It's difficult because you need to, you need to record in bulk. No, you don't. Guess what? I recorded in bulk for one week. Of three different games. So in that week, I recorded uh, GTA, uh, one episode of Minecraft, two episodes of this, and I believe, I think I was, this is the final lap, good, uh, and one episode of Minecraft. That's what I recorded in the first week. What should I say? The first three days I we recorded that. Guess what? Now, I'm almost a week and a half ahead so I could literally if I wanted to not do another video for a week and a half well a week yeah a week and like two days and then a day before it comes out do a recording book reader also lots of people go uh, uh, people go oh do a let's play of a game that you do it blind. No, I, I've completed Watch Dogs, not 100%, but I've do, I've completed the story, and that will mean I'm probably actually not going to redo the story. It wasn't that exciting, to be honest. I don't really want to go through that again. So that that might be the end of the Watch Dogs Let's Play. To be honest, two episodes. Who? I'll tell you what, if you do actually want to do, watch a, a kind of entertaining let's play of Watch Dogs, right at the end, uh, wait till the end of this video. You know, I, I, I don't know if you've watched all the videos, uh, well, I don't know if you've watched at the end of any of these videos. The retention time on them is probably terrible, I haven't checked. But when you do, Go to the like. Wait, watch till the end of this video, and there'll be a thing that says subscribe, and then it'll come up with the previous two videos that were uploaded onto the channel. Now, normally on the right-hand side, there'll be a TIGN logo, the 
sure that it's a TIG channel. But uh, for this one, at the end of this video, there will be a mystery video. And can you believe what the mystery video is? Yes, it's this entertaining watchdogs video. Put out by well, sort of entertaining. Put out by my friend. Hey, it's really. You should go subscribe to him. I believe he has six subscribers. I only have three at the moment. That's sad. But subscribe to me. It's important. It shows your support, and it helps me. <laughs> it helps me know if I should continue doing these let's plays because. Anyway. Watch that let's play if you want to see someone sort of entertaining me play for the entire stuff. I watched a bit, I watched episode 7 this morning. That's what he's up to at the time of this corner. He uploads one every day. And, uh. He had to do one of the early missions in the game, so kind of spoiler alert here, but. Uh, you. You're about to do a mission and get. Uh, hacked by someone. Which is annoying. And you can turn the invasion off, but the game is explaining this mechanic to you so a fake person goes into your game and, get, and hacks you. But then he goes and hacks into someone else's game, and it's so close. Like, he gets to like a hundred, like literally 99%. And. gets fine now. Just so sad. Anyway, uh, I was gonna speak something about Quantum Rush. I got a code for it. Don't need a second code. Might give that second code to Chris. He could do a let's play of it. It is a moderately entertaining game. I could do a let's play of it even. But I may give that uh, close bit for that. Well, there's really no need to. It, it's. Not a lot of people know about this game, so. Essentially. You can just sign up to their website and go, hey, I want to be part of this close bit, and they'll actually send you a code. I have a code that I I don't need, so I may give that code away. This this is the issue with doing let's play. I, I I really like this game. I really like the Grand Turismo series. It's really fun, but after a while, I just got bored. Of just doing the same thing over and over again. So I'm gonna be honest, the series may go on hiatus while I play other games. Because I actually have three games, uh, four in fact. I can see it on my shelf, four games that I'm selling. Shocking, I know. He sells games. You should collect them. No. I sell them and then I can buy up games and provide more entertaining content for you guys. At least at the moment, I may keep games in the future. If like this trying to get huge and people and developers send me send me more Chris games or whatever. But at the moment nope. Selling some games. They're, they're all games as well, but I'm getting twenty two quid from my checked online for the uh for the store that I'm selling on Matt's website. I know only, they're only selling for like two pounds more than I'm getting, so it's not even a bad deal. This will be the final lap, I can tell. My best lap was my second one, apparently. Could be this one, we have no idea. But yeah, four games that I'm selling. I can't believe I'm going to say this, I'm selling the Skyrim. I actually wasn't like too... I'm going to get a lot of Skyrim fanboys here. I played the first mission, and I was like, I'll play this again then. I have not picked it up since. The, is, the first mission is not a good opening mission. It, it's exciting, seriously, but... It, I'm just not into the world of Skyrim. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2. That's a fun game. 
but I've learned some cute from it, so. Yeah, I mean, no one on my friends likes the next. These are all 360 games, by the way. No one, no one on my friends likes the next looks like perfect, so. Anymore. Uh, Midnight Club, uh, LA Complete Edition. Which is interesting because their website doesn't list the complete edition. So I may even get more money for that because last time I sold a game which I didn't have on their website, they were like, oh, this is limited edition. It's worth more, but it's not on our service, so we'll give you more cash. And then, uh, test driving them at two. And I'll play some more games. If you guys are in the comment section, if you leave a comment, no, so I know what to improve, but list a few games that I should definitely do Let's Plays in. In fact, if I've turned to me, if they have Right to Have Retribution, I may even do a Let's Play in that. I don't even particularly want it, but they're selling it for like four quid, so. But yeah, leave a comment so we know what to improve. Hit like for more Grand Turismo 6 content, so I, you know, I can judge the support of this series. Hit subscribe to show your support, and don't forget to share and tell your friends. I've been Hazard from the Insane Gamers. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.